The challenge of feeding the world's growing population is becoming more difficult with climate change, and smallholder farmers in developing countries face the greatest risks, with direct threats to their food security and livelihoods. Yet not all people in rural farming communities are affected in the same way. Climate shocks and stressors affect men and women differently, and their responses to these shocks are also different. For example, if women's assets, such as jewelry, are sold to cope with a drought that wiped out this season's crop, the gap in assets between women and men will widen, making women more vulnerable and less able to respond to future shocks. Applying a gender lens to climate change adaptation efforts is therefore critical to ensure that both men's and women's needs and priorities are considered, and so that all people contribute to greater climate resilience. The International Food Policy Research Institute, or IFPRI, is a CGR research center, which is focused on alleviating hunger and malnutrition sustainably. IFPRI generates evidence-based policy recommendations and works with women's organizations and other partners in Africa, Asia, and Latin America that support women as they adapt to the negative impacts of climate change. To carry out this work, IFPRI collects and analyzes gender disaggregated data to better understand men's and women's preferences for climate smart agriculture practices and their capacity to adopt them. We use tools such as the Women's Empowerment in Agriculture Index to identify key constraints that women face in particular contexts. IFPRI research has found that men and women have different capacities to cope with climate shocks and adapt to long-term changes. We found that women's limited access to information often hinders their adoption of improved agricultural practices and technologies. Our research also found that laws and regulations that increase women's rights on their own will not necessarily change investments in agriculture. Only when women are aware of their rights will such investments be taken. Research also shows that participation in grassroots women's organizations allows women to have a stronger voice in community decisions on adaptation investments and provides them with a source of information and resources to cope with climate shocks. When women have knowledge and tools at their disposal, they are ready to embrace climate change adaptation. In Bangladesh, we found women were more likely to adopt some climate smart practices that relate to their livelihood activities when they were aware of these practices. Our end goal is greater climate resilience for all. Evidence-based approaches that increase women's capacity to respond to climate change will take us one step closer to this goal. For more information on gender and climate change, follow hashtag ActOnTheGap.